Yo, what's up everybody? We're playing Super Smash Bros. Melee. Big, big because I like this game a lot. It's like the best game ever made. And uh, I kind of needed a video for today and I didn't have anything because uh, of various reasons I'm running a little low on videos. So, we're playing Falco because I main Falco now. Yes, I know, I change this every time I make a video. That's because these videos are very far apart, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna stick with Falco. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I always think these videos are kind of cool for me, because I get to show you, like, that I've gotten better. Because I think I have. Um, you know, like, I, I think I'm pretty competent with Falco. I'm, of course, not. Like, the thing about Melee is, this game is so hard. Saying you're pretty good at something, it's just nothing in relation to, like, the top tier players, it doesn't really mean anything, but anyway, Falco, um, you spam lasers, and then you stop spamming lasers. That's that's the whole character. <laughs> you don't need to know anything else. No, that's not not not, not the whole character. Uh, you laser until you're in their face, and then you spam shine, and at some point you you make uh, kill them with a down air, or you just keep spamming down air, like so. That generally works also pretty well. As you can see, it's it's kind of effective. It, it's also really satisfying. It's just a really nice move. See that? Mmm. Yeah, you just use that move a lot. That's that's Falco. <laughs> you see that? And then you kill them. I love this character. Isn't he cool? Um, they're playing against the Sheik here. Uh, the key thing against the Sheik is try to not get off stage because you die if you go off stage ever. It doesn't matter at how, how high of a percentage either one of you is. Like, it's just really not at all relevant. Like, you die if you go off stage. So just don't go off stage. <laughs> Alright, try to be in the center of the stage. Hold control of the stage. And then you'll be fine. Um, Falco is, generally speaking, a better character. But not by much, right? Like, and at this skill level, they may as well be the same character. Like, in terms of, like, how good they are. It doesn't really matter. Because they kind of, like, do the exact same... Th I don't know, like, they kind of have the same power level, right? At this skill level, it really just comes down to... Who is better? But anyway. Um. Oh god, that was just terrible. Nope. Okay, um. Nope. No, 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 no. Bad trade. Oh, nice needle though. Alright, that was just a really bad trade. Okay, we're just gonna keep spamming down here though. Like so. And then occasionally we shine. Yeah, I think you get the idea of Falco. <laughs> Uh, and then occasionally we double shine and get through the shield and then we dunk him. Boom! That's Falco! Uh, a good night everybody, that's the... <laughs> that's of course not the video. Um, anyway, so yeah, I, I really like Falco, he's really really cool. Uh, again, we're playing against a Sheik player. Uh, I have been uh, playing, like, I've I played like four matches with him beforehand, before I started recording. Um, I think I've won all of them, although it's always been like, fairly close. Oops. Oh! All planned! All planned! <laughs> thanks, Base Randall. Oh my god. Type thanks in the in the comments to thank Base Randall. Oh my god, thanks, Base Randall. To <laughs> Type thanks, Base Randall, to earn his bless blessings. Ah, that was terrible. Yeah, I keep doing that. That's like a bad habit of mine. I keep jumping into... Into, um... Into moves, because I keep doing this one. Right? I do the like there from the from the ledge. Uh, it's the scrub. Like it's really just not something that's incredibly good, but it works a lot. Um, that's the thing, right? It's just like it's a decent option. Um, as in, like if your opponent doesn't punish it, then it's actually really really good. The problem is that it's so commonly used and so easy to punish that it's actually not that good. Just because of that, right? It's like. If they don't punish it, then that's... <laughs> it fucking... It fucking boxed out of the stage, man. That was a little silly. Nah. Yeah. Uh, also, another thing about Sheik is... Try to just not get grabbed, ever. It's generally a good idea. Um, You may notice those red flashes. Uh, that's L-Cancel missiles. Yeah, I have a cheat code enabled. That... um. Makes it so that every time somebody misses an L cancel, it flashes, you see? Right? Um, it just really helped me get my L cancels down, which is something I wasn't particularly great at beforehand. Um, still not incredible, although I 
do well, right? Oops. I I am I am content with my state of. No, I'm not content. I mean, of course, I will not get better at it, but you know, it's not like I'm unhappy with it. Like I think that's not the main issue in my gameplay here. Although it's definitely something I can work on, especially right now because I'm missing all of my fucking L cancels. Okay, but yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, the the, the cheat doesn't do anything else. It doesn't like it's like not like an actual cheat. It's just what they refer. <laughs> uh, it's just what they refer to, right? It doesn't give me an advantage. It just makes it so that the L cancels flash, uh, which I guess is some kind of not really right. It doesn't like. Make my character better or anything like that. I think that much is obvious. I'm playing this on Netplay, by the way. Like, if you don't know how to do that, just go on Smash Ladder. T Google Smash Ladder. It's written like I say it. <laughs> Smash Ladder. Right? You go on there. There's a full guide with everything. You don't need any more. You can figure it out on your own. You're a big boy. Okay. Um. God. Chic. Nope, nope, this is really bad. Nice. Nice! Okay. Ah, oh, I was hoping he would roll. If he had rolled into me, that would have been sick! Nice! Got it. Alright. Just getting her out of that up B. He wasn't gonna go for the ledge right there, that was too risky. Alright, like if he goes for the ledge, there's like a 90% chance he dies. Okay. Got him with the Shine of Shield. That's something I have incorporated into my gameplay um, not too long ago. It's really important. Like, Shine of Shield is super broken. Like, that's really what. Like, so, so, Fox and Falco are the best characters in this game, right? And. Oh, God! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, my God. I just got wrecked so hard. Okay. Oh, my God. That was just embarrassing. <laughs> Oh my, I'm sad now. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, Fox and Falco are the two best characters in the game, and the shine is a big reason why. Right? First of all, you can do like multi shines. Right? So you can't just spam the move really nastily. Um, in theory, the move makes it so that you, every time you like get a hit on shield, you like either break the shield or you get a shine. Because you can't just keep spamming shine and they stay in the shield. Although I guess in theory it's actually, I heard it's possible to get a shield grab to interrupt it. It's just really hard, but so is spamming shines on shield until you break it. Ah, nope. Nope. Okay, we're still good. He's missing his edge guards. I hate this stage. This is my least favorite stage in the game. Even though I love the music, the music is sick. But I just suck on Fountain. Oh, nice! <laughs> Got him! <laughs> Two stocked him, alright. Everything is going according to plan, as you can see, right? Everything always goes according to plan. Alright, uh, don't expect to see any other characters, though. This is a fighting game. In fighting games, people don't play multiple characters. Uh, well, I guess it does happen and people dual main, but uh, usually you have your main and then you play that character, right? It's not like Dota where you've got to kind of have a role and maybe a secondary role or something like that, right? Or you're just really flexible in general and you play what your team needs. In fighting games, people tend to just play one thing, right? It's like in StarCraft, you wouldn't expect a player to play more than one race, right? It's just how it goes. So, yeah, I play Falco. I like Falco. I think I'm doing okay with him too. Like, I don't know, he just makes sense to me. Oh! And I like I like shining. I especially like shining out of shield. I like doing long combos. I like lasering. Ah! That was too fast. I had the read, I just fucked it up. Oh, nice! Did you see that one? Come on! I'm the best Falco. I thought probably like a Nia would have done that same thing, but I don't know. Up, oh, nice drop. Up, oh, no, should be dead. Yeah, you see that? That's exactly what I mean, right? You, 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 you get off stage, you just die. That wasn't even a strong hit, and my percentage didn't matter, right? Like I could have been at zero, and I would have died right there. 
That's why I just can't get off stage. Because I, then I lose and die, and that's really sad. One thing I also actually, I got a new controller. Uh, I really like my controller, actually. Like, I, there's this guy on Amazon that, like, imports controllers from Japan. Yes, I am that nerd. I imported a GameCube controller from Japan so I can play my 15-year-old game bed. <laughs> but it's a sick controller. And um, I hate the new GameCube controllers. In case you don't notice, right? But new, they're like old GameCube controllers that were made for the Nintendo GameCube. And then they're new GameCube controllers, which are kind of made for the Nintendo Wii, as in they are made uh, for, new, uh, for the new Smash Brothers, right? Because you can hook up a GameCube controller adapter to the Wii and then play that way. Now, the problem with the new controllers is that they have uh, stiff shoulder buttons. I don't like them at all. They, uh, well, the new one, uh, well, the old ones have really soft ones, which I do like. <laughs> I know it sounds like a minor difference, but it actually does matter. And to me, I am just not a big fan. Of the stiff ones, right? I, I tried playing with them, I just couldn't. It just irritated me. So I had to stop and um, I just got myself a different one. I played with my old broken controller. Ah, my old controller broke down. I've been like, just torturing that poor thing. This controller's gonna break eventually as well. GameCube controllers have a tendency to break because people play. <laughs> rip. But people have. People play Smash with them and um, Smash is one of the highest APM games out there. It really is. Like, people play with 400, 300 APM at the top level. Which is incomparable, I think, for our... F like, like no other fighting game has that high of an APM, right? And really the only thing in general, like, that's in any sort of way relevant is uh, StarCraft. Or Warcraft, I guess. I don't know how much APM Warcraft players have, but apparently that's a thing. <laughs> uh, that still blows my mind. Oh! No! Okay. No. Oh, <laughs> Randall, <laughs> fucking based Randall. I thank you, based Randall, to thank to thank Randall, and he will bestow his Randall blessings upon you. Randall is the cloud, by the way, in case you haven't figured it out. That's just what he's called. If you're wondering why he's called Randall, the story behind that is that one day on Smash Bros, they were discussing the cloud, and then somebody showed up in the thread, thread unannounced, randomly, and decided this cloud shall now be called Randall, and from there, henceforth. Everybody started referring to the cloud as Randall. <laughs> That's just what it is like now. Rip. I like Falco. See how nice he is? At oh! <laughs> okay, Sh probably shouldn't just run into the grab like that. Ah, uh, nope. Screwed up his tech chase. And saved me from sure death. That's nice of him. Okay. Okay. So something I've been trying to do, by the way, which is pretty hard, is like do a shine and then wave land. Um, wait, I'll show you. All right, so basically you you run in, you get a shine, and then you like wave land on the platform. All right. Oh uh, wait. I am trying to do it. It's just not that easy. Damn it! Too slow. Man, those tech chases are really really hard. That's really the thing, by the way, that convinced me to play Falco. Falcon because like I liked playing Captain Falcon, but I also didn't like playing Captain Falcon. But the I don't know the thing about Captain Falcon that I really really liked is that he had those really sick tech chases, which are so much fun, right? But then I figured out you can do them with Falco. You just keep spamming down air. <laughs> you just keep spamming down air, and it's just like oh hey, that's sick. Okay, get him down, get him up again. You see this right here? Now, if he was there and I had hit him, then that was kind of what I was, what I'm going for. Okay, just kind of trying to keep him in the air. Honestly, Sheik is not very good at coming down. I'm Ooh, thanks for that, man. I would have died. <laughs> Maybe. I actually don't think I would have died. I'm, I'm not sure. Sometimes the illusion is weird. Okay, I gotta get those tech chases better. Yeah. Something this guy is really not good at dealing with is just me sitting here jabbing. Which is really not that difficult to deal with. 
but he just kind of seems to struggle. Oops! Oh god, that was that was really bad. Okay, we're good. Rip. <laughs> and I, I love that there too. I just like Falco. I'm pretty sad on Falco now. My my only real worry is that I'm not black enough because you kind of have to be black to play Falco, and Doctor Mario for that matter. But um, since I I don't play Doctor Mario, that's not much of a concern. I mean, I feel like I feel like I am kind of reasonably black, but I just don't know if it's enough, right? Like, I need somebody to confirm this for- can- can- was someone just- I just need one of you to call me my na- like, your nigga, and then- then we're good. Ah, damn, I screwed up that way for that. Oh, man. Right, just- just- that's- I just need one black guy to give me permission to play Farkle, and then I'm good. So if one of you could do that, that would be great. <laughs> uh... Okay, no man. Okay. Just kind of trying to like get the shine on him where it started combo. By the way, this is also <laughs> this is just so so horrible to do to somebody. You know, you just that's the thing, right? Like against the Falco you always have to approach and it's always shit. Because he just keeps spamming lasers. Although I'm trying to not spam lasers too much. First of all, it's not that fun to play against, and I always... I don't know, I don't want to be that asshole, right? Um, but also, it doesn't work after a certain skill level anymore, right? You just won't really find the space to, like, spam lasers just all the time. And not only that, but eventually people will start power shielding. So it's just like, okay... Oh, that was nice! Okay, we're good, though. That was fucking sick! Did you see that one? Okay, we hit him with that. At, th at this point, we're so far ahead, we can't just trade. Oops. <laughs> it's alright, we're good. Screwed up my wave shine. Ah, my shine out shield. Yeah, those are hard. What? There we go. Man, I can't believe he's wife. That one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I'm not that great at killing early. It's kind of one of my, my issues here. Like, that's really something I struggle with. Just killing early. Ah, well. Okay, let's just... Keep doing this, though. I gotta go to some tournaments again. The problem is, there just aren't any. <laughs> Although, recently, there's actually been kind of a surge in my local scene. Uh, I just haven't been part of it. Um, for various reasons, I just haven't found an opportunity. Right, so... There's not really much I can do about that. Um, but I kind of want to go again. Just, you know, play some games, see how good I actually am. Because I think I got a lot better. I know I've got I got a lot better since the last time I made a video. Like, that much is sure. I think at this point, my gameplay actually looks like something that might be worthwhile. <laughs> oh, no, I missed that. That would have been so swaggy, man. Oh, my God. I love those aerial lasers. Right? I think at this point, my gameplay actually looks like something that... That's worthwhile, right? I don't look like a complete scrub anymore. So that's pretty good. Although the red flashing is kind of proving me otherwise. So what I should have done right there, by the way, is I should have done a, a down tilt to, like, kill him with that. Because down tilt is actually super good. Got him. Nice. This move right here, down tilt, it just kills so early, and it's really good against Sheik specifically. Because usually, you just don't really get it off. Like, it's just really hard to hit. But against Sheik, if you hit her out of her recovery, then you kind of can. Oh, that was kind of sick. Right, like so. Although it didn't kill right there. It's unfortunate. Oh! Yeah, I'm dead. Damn it. Oh, I like my combo before that. Just up and down, up and down. Kind of a shame this guy isn't playing a spacey. Falco against against any Spacey, so either against Fox or Falco, is just so fun. Actually, Falcon works too. Just any really fast fool. There aren't that many of those, but you know, really enjoy playing against them. Boom, dead. 
Got him. <laughs> JB4. Oh, look at that. Fancy. Alright. Huh. I'm actually doing really well. It's surprising. Like, honestly, I, I started recording against this guy because we were, we were going, not necessarily even, right? Like, I was still winning, but it was still, like, just, like, one stocks, two stocks. Nice power shield. Power shields are so good against Falco. Like, if you can do them, because that means that the laser spam is negated. And there was, like, this this uh, funny, like, post on Reddit recently where somebody was like, Yo, I main Falco. I started playing against the guy that knows how to power shield. How do I play this game? <laughs> <laughs> How do I actually play melee? Like, I don't know, man. I play Falco. I just spam laser. I don't actually know how to play this game. Like, uh, what do I do if my lasers don't work? Well, that is a good question, my friend. Damn it. Oh, nice. Someone managed to survive that one. Dunk him down really quick. Yeah, I like putting out these hitboxes. Like, you may have noticed that I spam a lot. Like, just, like, throwing out moves. I'm not even sure they're gonna hit. I just kind of like hope. <laughs> I'm just like, uh, this might hit. I mean, there's a chance. Fuck it. Let's go for it. Oh, come on, man. Ah, you see that? That right there is what I'm trying to do. Which is like the whole um, shine land on the platform thing. To hit a guy on the platform. It's really cool if you can do it. It just looks so sick. I mean, it's also good. Right, like, if you look at high-level Falcos, they do that all the time. But... Oop. Oh! Hey! <laughs> Got him! Okay. Do this again. Up. Down. Up. Nope, that's the wrong order. Ah, come on, man. Nope, nope, nope. <sighs> Sheik is so scary because of that. Right? You just get hit once and you die. And it's like, come on, man. Oops. <laughs> oh my god. Get dunked. Get dunked. You gotta be careful there, right? Like, because, like, I'm. Oh, Spacey! Fuck yeah, let's go. Spacey Ditto. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, so, this is like bread and butter Falco stuff, right? Like, wait. Yeah, no, the, da the wave, wave, wave dash and down smash, that's bread and butter Falco stuff. No, it's kind of too late to show, like he's a too high of a percentage. Man, I gotta get used to playing a Falco now. Because this is so different. Like, wait. It's much more fun though. God. Okay, I'm just running into this bullshit. He should be dead, yeah. Okay, so anyway, bread and butter Falco stuff is you run in, get this, get this, and then uh, you hopefully have some sort of follow-up to it, which I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I was on the wrong side of that. Right, you put him up, dunk him down, and then you read that wrong. Man, I, it's just tough to react to stuff. Okay. <laughs> and then you laser a bunch of times, because you're a scrub. And by we, you, I mean me, of course. And you. Come on, if you play Falco, you laser far too much. You know it's true. Like, seriously, you shouldn't be spamming laser that much. And you know everybody hates you for it. Okay, this right here. Nah, got out of that one. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm dead. Gotta be careful at the edge. My recovery is pretty crap, honestly. Like, it's not horrible by any means. Like, you have some some decent options. You can Shine Soul, you have the Illusion, you have Shortens with the Illusion. That's all really good. Ah, oh, I didn't quite get that one. Man, I'm missing all of these. I'll cancel. Yeah, it can, can be a little tough. You know, that's one of the interesting things about this game, I think. Like... It kind of has execution as a resource, right? Like, you can only do so many nice plays. As in, like, you can only push so many buttons at once. Oh, wait, I won. <laughs> you can only push so many buttons at once, right? So having to out-cancel everything. And if you mess it up, then it slows you down significantly. Ah, there we go. 
right? They, that kind of changes the entire game. That, that's actually like a really significant change in dynamic. Because um, it's not just as simple as, okay, now I don't have to... I'll cancel it. Uh, no. they, let's say, okay, I mean, I'm kind of completely losing track here. Let me, let me, let me try again, right? Like, because L cancelling is in the game, people have to push more buttons than they would have otherwise, right? But you can only push so many buttons at once. So characters like Fox and Falco and Falcon, which are already high EAPM characters, right? You have to push a lot of buttons with them because else they just aren't any good. They become worse thanks to that, right? It kind of balances them. Because if you think about it, like a character like Jigglypuff doesn't really need to out cancel that much. While um, a character like Fox and Falco, like, we have to do it constantly. And if we don't get it, it's kind of a big deal. Oh no! I screwed that up! Oh, I'm sad now. Oh god, well that was just silly. <laughs> That's okay. Stakes were made. No, 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 no! Okay, we're good. Alright, alright. <laughs> So anyway, right, because we have only, we're already pushing so many buttons, having to L cancel, like, makes the character worse, because now we have to push even more buttons, and we have to L, and L cancelling is an absolute necessity, right, like, if you remove L cancelling from the game, these two characters become significantly worse. Now, uh, at the same time, like, L cancelling is a good thing, because it speeds up the game, but it also nerfs these two characters, somehow, even though they don't actually have any changes in, like, their raw numbers, right? So it kind of has execution and how many buttons you can press as... oh, that's rude. No, oh, back to the cheek. All right, I get it. All right, but it kind of has that as a resource. I think it's a really interesting thought. Like, um, the game I looked at on last Thursday, or I guess this Thursday, actually, um, Drop Zone, right? Like, one of the things they talked about was, like, um... Uh, what's it called? Attention, I guess, as a resource, right? Oh, nice! You see, that's what I'm talking about. Like, getting that shine and then landing immediately. It's just really sick because it, like, refreshes your jump and gives you more time to think things through. And then you can, like, run again. It just gives you more options. Uh, no, sometimes you just want to jump up with them, right? But not all the time. Yeah, he, he's just gonna play Sheik from now on. He tried his other characters. Doesn't want any more of that. <laughs> I like the forward here. Oh no! No! <laughs> yeah, they, they talked about like attention as a resource. Like you can only micromanage so many things. Right? So, this game has execution as a resource. Kind of. And, um, yeah. That's, that's why I'm missing my L cancels. I'm usually much better uh, at L cancels than I am right here, but uh, I'm struggling a bit. Okay, this is a little awkward. Okay, we're good. Yeah, it sometimes lags a little bit. Okay. Well, that's just slightly unfortunate. Okay, what's going on? Uh, huge ping. Is my Steam downloading anything? No. This? No. Oh, it seems we're back. Alright, we're back. Right. But, like, having those things that aren't actually, like, a gameplay mechanic as resource, kind of? I think that's really, really interesting. Oh! Another interesting note is, like, in, um, Project M... They, for a little while, tried to have it without L cancelling, right? But they still had Fox and Falco in it. And actually Wolf, right? They added in another spacey. Oh, I think this is not going to work anymore. Oh, well, let me just finish up that thought. Right, um, they added in Fox and Falco and uh, Wolf, so another spacey. And because the, because the L cancelling was missing, right, the game just became easier for those characters, which made them insane, like, just crazy powerful. Uh, got a message. Oh, I think she died. Alright. Looking better. Alright, seems good.
<clears throat> right. And then they, uh, like, they changed the game around, right? They added in L cancelling, but they made it easier. And they made the entire execution on the game easier by about one frame, right? Like, that's kind of the, kind of the number there, right? I know it sounds a bit silly to, like, make the entire game easier by one frame, but that's kind of what happened, right? So that you just have a lot of things that would usually be, you know, a pretty tight window, and they just give you an additional frame to do it. And, um... Fox and Falco and Wolf, they were still insane. They were just so good, right? Even though now you have to keep in mind that at this point, all characters in the game are basically built to deal with Fox and Falco, right? It's not like, you know, the other characters aren't good. They are, and not only are they good, but they all have like insane combos on the spaces because they're like such, you know, they're such fragile characters. So, like, they can kind of death touch them, but they're still just worse characters. Isn't that interesting? I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. I don't know if I'm making this back. Nice. Oh! <laughs> oh, man. I don't know if he's ever going to stop falling for that one. Oops. Oh, okay. That's good. That's good. He could have slapped us. If he had slapped us, we would have died. I'm just going to laser him a bunch. Irritate him. You know, that's kind of the thing about lasers. It just breaks their flow hard. Right? You can see now I'm kind of in his face. Sometimes you just gotta slow the game down for a little bit to make it fast again. You know, you can only speed up if you're not going at max max speed. If you're going if you're already going at max, then there's nothing you can speed up to. So yeah, anyway. Uh, I think that should do it. Sorry, I hope you don't mind some melee. Um, well, maybe one more game. Oh, no, 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 no. I actually wanted to. Let's try. Let's try ourselves at Fox. Just one match. I don't usually play Fox, but yeah, let's do this as the final. Oh, God. This is mildly different. different. And by mildly, I mean very. These two characters, like Fox and Falco, they may look very similar. They're really not, though. They are so different. But anyway, that's gonna make it a little bit more of an even game because I don't really play Fox anymore. I These days, I only play Falco. But one thing that I'm actually kind of surprised by is I actually think it's easier to shine out of shield with Fox. Which doesn't really make a lot of sense, does it? But I don't know. I guess it does make a little bit of sense, because they are different, right, in their jump squats, which is, like, which won't help you if you're a Dota player. <laughs> but their jump squats, which is just, like, one of the values in the game, are different. Foxes is faster, and I just kind of get Foxes timing more than Falcos. Ah. Nice, got him with that. Oh, wrong side. Oh, he crouch cancelled that one, which means like it reduces his knockback. Oh, nice, I got him. Hey, maybe I'm not that trash of a fox. You know what I'm doing really just is not what you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> I'm just kind of like getting some stray damage in, not not going for much in terms of combos. No. Okay, I'm fine. Yeah, fox's recovery is. Probably better than Parkos. I don't know. I've heard some people argue that it's not, but those people, I don't know. I don't think it applies for the skill level. Like, it's like Mango and Hacks arguing that Falco's, like Falco's recovery may be better than Fox's. Nice. Got him with that shine spike. Um, but I think for all my purposes, Fox's is better because it's just longer. Um. Nope. Okay, near plane. This is... Uh, one thing you can do with Fox is to just kind of spam near. Just like I spam, spam down near with Falco. Right, I just spam the dunk. With Fox, you'd kind of do it with the near. Turn it into the near plane. As people call it lovingly. 
I think I got him. Yeah. All right, we'll leave it at that. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, we'll do that again tomorrow. Goodbye.